So it has no overhang. Check out my playlist for more videos of the overhang. We're gonna add an overhang to this. So it's been eight, 12 years ago we did this roof. Still looks beautiful. This is one of the ones where we left the old gutters. The old mobile home gutters are still there and we put our termination bar right along the top. So this is an old one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut along the top of that termination bar that's out there. Fold the rubber back about two feet. We're gonna add a two foot piece all the way down through there. Over here, we already have a two foot piece. We're gonna add two foot with a six inch overhang over here. So check it out. This is the very first one that we ever did a rubber roof on and ended up coming back adding the overhang that we so love now. <coughs> so this is a one of a kind video right here. All garbage, look at this. I mean, look how flimsy this tin is. And the cool seal is garbage. It's, flakes off terrible this thing was rattling I remember this thing was rattling back in the day he uh, come up here and added all these screws in it to keep it from rattling sweet Wait till you see the 2 by 4 that goes right down through here. You're going to put your screws right here at the edge. Screw down into a piece of 2 by 4 which is going to be an inch and a half wide. By 3 and a half down which gives us a total of 4 inches with the plywood. We make our metal face 4 and a half inches. And then back to the house. You're going to love that part. You have to wait around to see that part. Adding our two before overhang. What's he asking about? So in order to get your six inch overhang over here, you notice we've added the six inch overhang, two by four fascia metal. It's going to be beautiful. Because it is a bow in there and that 2 by 4 is not going to bow, you just put your screw at the bottom. Bill, right that? Yep. He, he kind of hung in a little bit too far for you. That's, that's already at the edge. It ain't going to work. There it is, maybe. Catch the edge. That's it. You want to move your screw? Yeah. Let me have this. We use uh, ridge vent nails. Yeah, they, we use the ring chin, ring chin, ridge vent. Awesome, guys. Put some screws in it.
Now just keep it straight to the edge all the way down. We'll be great. Nice. Just like that. Gives you a nice overhang. Good. You can pretty much tell where it actually goes. before right here that hasn't been measured so you see we got that overhang down there I just butt to it but it I need a 55 and 8 55 and an 8 Paul is again this is the back side and we're nailing this down so we get the illusion of the peak roof it's illusion but it does look good like from the bottom. Look at that. Overhang. Oh look, look at this. When you step back here, that that illusion that I'm talking about, see if we can see it. <coughs> see there? We have a round peak with an illusion of it being straight. That's what the customer was looking for. He wanted that badly. Can't wait till he gets back from Lowe's. It was just a small little bow out right there. And you know what that would have done with a metal. I could see it from the other end. I'm gonna go look again. Yeah. Yeah, that's straight all the way, buddy. That looks good. Yeah. All right, so we just pulled that bad boy up here. Whew. It was not easy. <coughs> All right, Billy, throw that other one over your shoulder. Come on up. Right. Yeah, I think you can get it. <laughs> Make sure it don't slide off or nothing. You keep that end straight, Bill. Oh, screw. Another one down here. Oh, where are you going, Bill? <laughs> Let it go off the roof. I'm in the anthem. I'm talking about a big old piece of 60 mil rubber. 
It lays out flat too, boy. I love the way it lays out. Yep. Good. What you got for overhang over there? You got plenty on both sides. I'm just saying, how much is it? I look good over here. Good. That's going to look good on the transition. Huh? I don't think so. We'll see. That wasn't too bad. Uh -huh. I mean, What? Let me get in the middle, Paul. What do you got over there, Bill? That's good. We got eight inches over there, too. I like it. All right, let's measure this one. Cut what we need. Thought I had it on my side. Tape measure up here. Billy, you got a tape measure on you? Want to throw one up? Rubber's up. Whew. Let it sit overnight. <sighs> you did it. Beautiful. I didn't put it right on that mark. Sorry, Paul, I didn't put my tape measure away. There we go. Bend it at 90 degrees. Right for the face of the trailer. Spin it around. Flip it over. Mark five and a half inches for the boxing. Five and a half. Put it back in the brake. Bend it again at 90 degrees. That's a piece of metal. Over and over again until you get enough pieces you need. How many more we need, Paul? One more. One more. Okay. Sorry. 11 inches, I mean 10 inches. It's gonna get that bad edge. It has a terrible edge up there. So ten inches. That's gonna that's gonna give me an eleven and a half inch piece of metal. Break it down. What you got down there, Paul? You good? Make sure them wheels are set real nice on there. Cut. Beautiful. Set it aside. Flip it over. And this is just repetition. Over and over again. This is how you're going to make your fishing metal. Um, get confused. Inch and a half. Over and over again. Okay, get all your pieces made. Yeah, 120 feet. Yeah, 120 feet. At 10 foot each. That's 12. Right? Flip it around. Over and over and over until you get all the pieces you need. Our house here happens to measure 74 feet. So if we go with 10 footers, we're going to need 80. Uh, so we need 15 of them. To do the two sides. Well, we got porches. Minus the porches. We're not doing the porches, which are about 30 feet. So that means 12 of them. 
Coming up. There's our first piece. That's good. All right, now we're gonna go to the other side. Now, this piece here, we're gonna do the same thing. We'll try to get it in the back side. So, reach over there, take that turn bar screw out that's in it. There's a turn bar screw. Let's take that one out of the bottom. Just have to reach over and pull it out so we can run this metal behind it. Where's it at? Right down to your, you'll feel it when you put your hand on it. There you go, buddy. You got it on reverse or forward? You're going frontwards, Bill. <laughs> he just stripped it out now. All right. <laughs> All right. Got another piece for this side. I'm going to have to cut the length to start with. So once you cut me a length, I need a piece 68 inches long. This will come over a lot. This will overlap that. I'll bring that over to here. Close it off right here. Screws here. Rivets here. I had to get rid of this gutter because it was hanging down so far that my um, metal, facial metal, wouldn't go flat right there. So, Billy, cutting my piece the length we need. what it looks like on the end of your trailer and there's a gutter here gutter is going to get in my way i'm going to end up cutting it that gutter is going to have to get cut cut it out a piece no problem um we ran six inches from the edge of the mobile home right from the edge we run six inches to our plywood and then we put this two before on underneath after the fact and the only way to get this crown roof because this is a round roof and we're kind of making it square um, the best way to nail these things down, to be honest with you, is to nail the top or screw the top, screw the bottom, and then come down through here with three inch um, ridge vent nails all the way down through there. <clears throat> and uh, that will keep it from uh, splitting up and that at least it allows this to close up right here. So, And that gives it the appearance of having a peaked roof on here which it does not it's completely round <laughs> or moon shape or whatever you want to call it right. right on the top side should be coming downhill for me and that's going to be really nice right there i'm not going to do anything to it I'm no beautiful. cutting or anything I, i'm just beautiful good. oh my god look how look at that 
Put a nail in it, Bill. That can't get any better. Okay. That is very nice. It's no better than that. And nail my hand if you don't mind. I left my hammer up and I just want to hold it really since it looks so damn nice. All I'm gonna do is put a rivet in the bottom. I just amazing. Love it. Beautiful. Alright, nail the middle up. And uh, actually, before you do that, give me the rivet gun and my uh, drill so I can drill the hole. This is just amazing. Don't mind if I say. And I'm going to say it over and over again. Amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, drill. Traveling on me. You like it, don't you, Billy? Yeah. We have the uh, turn bar drill right there. Put a couple of them in here, too. Hold on. Mm, I might be out of them. I'm out of the turn bar screws. Yeah? Oh, sweet. Look at that, Bob. Step back and look at that. Dang, it looks like it's store bought. Ain't that something? Dang, it's store bought. A lot different. Ain't that something? And then you have rubber with turn bar that goes around, and this will be exposed like that. Yeah. Look good. Yes, sir. We're done with the metal, right? Yes, metal done. And it's guaranteed. Except I'm gonna. Billy's gonna help you, I guess. I'm gonna do the turn bar. Yeah. Yeah. And I was told it's guaranteed not to leak on top of that. Yes, sir. <laughs> guaranteed. How the hell can that leak? I have, I have it leaked around a pipe boot. I had one that a seam leaked. It was one we had done way back in the, back in the day. Just to make sure that when you're putting this up, that it's level right there. I've been doing this for a long damn time. So I'm not too bad at it. And that is this. Oh, they sharp. They're self-tapping. Self-tapping screws. Billy, yeah. give me that uh, drill right there and uh, rivet gun. I got to put another rivet down here. Not the right what? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? It's all the same. Do you have that roller, that one you got for the linoleum? Where's it at?
town, girl. It's full. Huh? What are you feeling? No, I'm still doing it. Okay, I have some things to do about it. I take six of them instead of one. What do you think so far? Pretty awesome, right?
Things you're going to need. Drill. Quarter inch driver. Combination bar screws. If you notice, they have that little rubber grommet on it. It's basically a metal roof screw. That metal grommet has a little piece of rubber right there. It touches the metal so you don't have any galvanized touching metal, aluminum. And then you do this. I forgot one important, one important tool. This, you have to keep your boxing level or it will look like shit, um, look like crap. I had a pencil. Does anybody loan me one? I just take a pencil. And when I get this level.
Yeah, right? Look at that. Lord. Well, you know what? I would too. I can tell you that right now. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Round roof appears to have a peak on it. Even though it doesn't. Thank you, Paul. It really looks nice. Thank you. This was uh, two days and a lot of damn hard work. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy. It takes a lot of work. But it's not hard either. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a little time consuming. Damn it. It's worth the money. This guy is really happy about it. And uh, he did this whole house for $6,000. Just like that. Love it. Thanks for watching. Alright, so thanks for watching the video. I know it's kind of long, there's two or three sections to it. Um, The homeowner really is excited about it. He loves it. I'm excited about it. I love it. And when the homeowner is excited, it makes me excited. So between the fact that I like these things already and the homeowner likes it too, I'm excited. Thanks for watching.